Hey, this is James Glass, and I wanted to show you the best way to wire a garbage disposal using a pneumatic switch. So, here I have this sort of entry-level, okay garbage disposal, because we don't use um, a whole lot of garbage disposal. Um, so, we didn't need much. I did go up um, to the uh, full half, half horsepower and not the third. But three quarter is like above that for most residential applications, and we just don't. I mean, we could have probably gotten away with the third. But the uh, uh, check your prices when you buy these things. The the Badger in Syncorator is a pretty popular brand. It's available at a lot of big box stores, and they sort of have the the good, better, best option at at most uh, box stores and hardware stores. And so I went for the better. Um, but if you, you pick your pick your disposal first, and the nice thing about this particular brand is they use this nice ring uh, that mounts to the to the drain basket in the sink. And the cool thing about that is it's just a quick turn on and off, so it's really a nice little mounting system. So if I you know 20 years from now if this thing wears out, I can just go get another one and use that same mounting system. Okay, how to wire it? So. This thing comes from the factory, and I've left the cover off. I'll try to get down in here um, with a little plate. This is what the bottom of the disposal looks like. And there's a little plate that comes off here, which I'll put back on now that I'm done. And it has a little knockout hole, and you can screw a little clamp in. And so this has to go somewhere to a switch circuit. This is power coming into the disposal, 120 volts. The best thing to do is to, I'm going to get back up in here, <clears throat> is to put in that guy, and that black line going to it is nothing more than a tube. This is a pneumatic switch. There's no electricity in this thing. And um, when you buy the kit, Incinerator sells them for about $67. I buy mine on Amazon for $25. And um, wherever you get them, you're basically going to get a little push button, and I'll show that to you in a second. You're going to get a tube, and you're going to get this box that the disposal plugs into. See where the yellow outlet is? And that goes and plugs into the um, single gang 120-volt uh, underneath the cabinet. By the way, did a separate video on how I like to make these flush mount and kind of sexy and nice instead of just putting a box down here with a hole through it, like a flush mount box. Um, I mean a surface mount box. The flush mount's so nice. So you wire up a 120 volt dedicated garbage disposal circuit, 20 amp. That means there's nothing else on the circuit except for, I'll show you, the disposal. So I put in my new 40 space 200 amp box and right uh, there is the disposal, dedicated 20 amp disposal circuit. And that runs from that breaker. I'll show you the back because it's still open. Um, runs, the cable runs here and goes down into that single gang outlet, just one for the living room. That cable right there goes into that single gang box, bringing 120 volts into the single gang. You plug in either the Insincorator brand or whatever brand pneumatic switch that you get. And that brings it over to this box. And then every single time you push that pneumatic button, air comes in this tube and activates the switch to turn it on and activates the switch to turn it off. There's a little solenoid in here that allows power right into here. Let me show you how it works. There's the flush mount. And I opted for a stainless uh, button, and without further ado, garbage disposal's on, garbage disposal's off. Now the nice thing is, you're, there's no food in it right now, but normally you're going to be spraying food down the drain, ya la la, you got your hands wet, you don't want to be putting your hands on even a GFCI switch. Um, you really, really, really want no electricity near water. You don't want to be shocked or worse yet, electrocuted. 
So by pushing this button, even with super wet hands, I'm not touching any electricity here. It is all pneumatic. Right? Now it's off. So for these continuous feed garbage disposals um, that are very affordable and go in most homes like this, uh, instead of the batch feeds one, this is awesome. This, this disposal was $109. That kit was on Amazon for 25 prime. So for you know under 150 bucks, I have uh, a disposal and a nice switch that's not gonna shock or kill me. And that's the way to wire a dishwasher. Hey, thanks for watching.